Hey y'all, I'm back here with week two for hashtag art journal habit 2018. I always have to try to remember to say it. I can type it, but saying it somehow just doesn't come out right. So this is week two. Let's go over the prompts. Week two is building, alike, elephant, bite, hide, smooth, and news. Now, some of you have already seen this on the Art Joy of Sharing Facebook group and on uh, the, the, the Instagram. But if you don't follow either one of those, this will be new to you. For those of you who do, the, do those other things, unless you want to see a repeat, <laughs> you might not want to watch this video. Alrighty, so here we go. This is building. And I want to explain how I did this and what I did wrong because I think it's important to tell the truth to people when you do these videos. Some videos, everybody edits, edits so everything looks so perfect and lovely, but behind the scenes, things are falling apart, smearing, dripping, dropping, smudging, and that's what happened with this. All right, so I saw a picture a while ago on Pinterest of somebody who drew buildings, you know, that were graduated like this, and I loved it. And I've done, this is like my third or fourth one to do this way. So this one, I decided that I wanted depth, and some because this is a book where everything's mostly flat, I wanted it to, you know, have a kind of a 2D look to it. So I drew each one of these houses on... Card, white leftover white cardstock I had in my stash and then I glued them from the top down in the book so the background these three here were done first then these three and then so on in layers so it gets thicker as it goes down the sheet once I got to the bottom I decided that I needed just a wee bit of color for contrast so I made these I made these little trees drew them and then colored them in with, uh, I think it's watercolor, but I can't remember what I did it with. And then I thought, oh, building blocks. And I had these words that are stickers from Hobby Lobby and they look like building blocks. So I decided to put the word building in the building block stickers. I know, I'm a simpleton. Anyway, <laughs> because I wanted to preserve this, I decided that I would put some gloss medium over it because that's all I've got. And I don't want to use Mod Podge because where I live in the South, it's very humid in the summer months and stuff sticks together. Not just your skin, but your artwork. So I went over it and forgot that I used pens that will smear with wet. So I had smudges all throughout this whole thing and I kind of ruined it when I put that over it. But I like the way it feels and it kind of smoothed out some of the, the tips on the buildings, made them lay down a lot better. So when you decide you're going to put some kind of sealant over your stuff, think about the pen you're going to use or the mediums that you're going to use before you do it because it might change your mind what you're going to use. If I had really given this forethought that it deserved, I would have used a Micron pen. That way when I brushed the gloss medium over it, it wouldn't have left the smudges that it did. And I tried to be delicate as possible, but let me tell you, it weren't easy. And then I got paint on here. So, you know, not everything is perfect like everybody shows on their videos because they edit that bad stuff out. Not me. I show all the warts. Alrighty, so that's building. I can't remember the second one. Uh, ba -ba -ba, building alike. So this one was super duper easy because I was gifted this lovely elephant napkin. And it's a napkin that I cut out from Caged Fish on YouTube. Carla. And I used acrylic paint and I think I used the uh, uh, deco art fluid acrylic medium a teal color then I took the white and put a stencil down on top of it and you know and blotted the stencil because the background of the napkin kind of looked like the stencil then I cut out the little elephants from the napkin peeled the back off glued those on this was such a sim simple thing to do. I think I put so much effort into the other one, I needed a day off from really trying to figure out how to make it fabulous. So this is like A, B. All right, and then I had stickers, and I used the word alike. I think I should have used a solid color, you know, 
so you can read the, the word a little bit better. It's kind of hard to see it. Even, even up close, it's a little hard. The yellow letter, maybe I should have made it a different color. Anyway, this was easy, and I was glad because after doing all these other things, I think I was a little exhausted mentally. The next one is Bite. Uh, no. The next one is what? Elephant. All right, so I had two pages in a row about elephants. Again, I was gifted some of these elephant... This was a, a magazine page that was sent to me. And then little pictures of elephants. I cut out as many as I could. I didn't have enough to finish up here. So to take away from the fact that there's no background on it, I just took stickers and did them across his head and outlined them in black. I like this one because I like this part because I think it's something different. It was easy. And I was happy about the easy part. All right, elephant bite. So this is bite. When I think of bite, I think of biting food because I'm a retired chef, and what can I say? My mind always goes to food first. <laughs> oh, I took ripped up, smutty novel pages. It was a Nora Roberts novel, to be honest with you. And I ripped it up, painted green over it, and when I looked at it, I was like, oh my gosh, it is too bright. So then I had to dumb it down with a little bit of white the deco art fluid why can i not get this name right hang on a second let me get a bottle of this so i give them credit and give it properly it's the deco art media fluid acrylics and i did it in white to cover up the fact that uh, the green that i had used was overwhelming i did the whole page first this was done on deli paper i drew an outline of the apple and then started finding scrap paper that I could make the apple with. And then this is glued on top of this right here. I learned this trick from something that Shell C from Art Joya Sharing mentioned in passing, I believe, at um, the art retreat we were at. And then down here is the word bite. Got to use those stickers I've got. I got to get rid of them because I don't use them often enough to get rid of them. All right, so we did bite. Bite, 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 bite. Hide. This one... <laughs> was a challenge. I am not a sketch or drawer person. <laughs> so it was a little difficult to make sure I understood how to do the, the box lid thing. That was a bit of a challenge. So I thought about Jack in the Box and I went on Pinterest and looked at all different angles and sizes and views of Jack in the Box. And there were some pretty scary looking ones and some really creepy looking ones. And then I decide, you know what? I can't draw that. I, I tried. <laughs> if I had the paper, I'd show you. Um, I can't draw that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to at least get the box down. And then I'll find something to glue on that'll pop out of the box. Well, I had cut up an old Prim's magazine. And I took a doll that had nothing on its head. Cut, cut its head off. Sorry. And then cut his face. <laughs> cut her face. And then glued her on top of all this so the background was done first and this is just painty paper there was nothing else special done to it um and then I started piecing the box on this is not all one piece this is done in sections I actually really did it in sections this is one piece and the word hide is a sticker and then these are just little pieces of again leftover painty paper so that's hide and the next one is smooth now I'm not trying to promote alcohol. I found this in a magazine and I really liked it. The background, I doodled all over it, painted it, and hated it. I looked at it and went, well, you see the doodle in the background, but you don't see what I was trying to feature in the front. So <laughs> I had already glued the bottles on. I was like, oh, what do I do? I tried covering it with all kinds of stuff to get rid of the doodles and the paint behind it. I was like, you know what? This is going to be have to be an all-out redo. So I tore up, again, some kind of a book book pages and glued them around <laughs> the bottles that were already glued on the page. Took some gray paint and tried to highlight a little bit around the bottles and outline them. I think I used a uh, gel pen for this because it was a little wet when I did it and I didn't want to drag a micron pen through it, although a gel pen probably wasn't the best option either, but you know, it's what I did. And then I just hand wrote the word smooth on a piece of paper, painty paper, that had the same kind of colors as the the tequilas and the ribbons, and then glued it on there. 
this is a good memory for me because I went to a, a chef's conference in Sedona. Yeah, Sedona. And we did a vertical tasting um, one evening where we had like five, I think there were five shot glasses of tequila. I made it through three. <laughs> then I was feeling a little dizzy. <laughs> I had to quit. So, you know, the vertical tasting made me lay kind of horizontal later because I was feeling a little bit nauseous. Um, but it was fun. And I really liked how smooth, as you tasted the different glasses, the tequila got smoother. You didn't need the, the lemon or the lime, and you didn't need the salt. They were very smooth on the way down. And also, if they're very cold, they were a lot nicer when they were cold, very cold. I really enjoyed the tasting. I thought it was very interesting. So there's that one. And then today, or last night, no, today I posted this one. This is day 14, is about news. Now, this looks terribly chaotic, and I did it that way on purpose. I know you can't believe that. Um, this is Tim Holt's paper on the bottom that had a lot of, uh, it was about travel and that kind of stuff. And so I glued that on the page. Then I had some envelopes that I put postmarks on and that kind of stuff. Cut those out. Found a map of the United States. This is from Wells Fargo Bank. It's a bunch of horses on a stagecoach, which that's the way mail used to be delivered back in the day. An airplane. We get airmail from that. And so there's the U.S. airmail. Telegrams. News came from that way. Uh, let's see what else was on here. I could not find a phone. Oh, TV and radio. I could not find a phone, and I thought, you know what, I think there's so much stuff on here, it won't matter, the phone's not on there, but the point of the news was news travels fast, whether it's good or bad, news get around. I need, like, what's her name, Mrs. Kravitz? <laughs> Those of you who are my age, you'll know who she is. We needed a Mrs. Kravitz head on here because she sure knew all the news in the neighborhood on the TV show Bewitched. All right, so that's my um, second week, my week two of the Art Journal Habit. Can you see that with the glare? Art Journal Habit 2018. I will be back next week with week three. I'm doing it every day, and I can't believe I've made it this far. I, today's is a little, let's see, what's today? Today's is north. Uh -oh, I don't know if I'm going to make it through north, but we'll see how it goes. All right, everybody, if you like to look to see what everybody else is doing use hashtag art journal habit 2018 and you can find a whole array of stuff on instagram sorry the dog has to go out all right so this is it for me see you guys next week bye